If you hold a phone to your head, you are literally microwave radiating your head. And when you put it that way, and you ask people, is it a good idea or not to hold one against your head? Most people say, well, when you put it that way, actually no. The industry's done an amazing job separating the benefits of this technology from how it works. What else can you do to protect yourself? Well, when you're using a, a laptop or a computer connected to the wall using a wired connection, a wired ethernet connection, turn off the wireless in your computer because that's a transmitter too, and use wired connections for a keyboard and mouse to keep yourself away from the computer itself because the computer... How do you mean? Well, when a child holds a cell phone to their head, their brain gets a lot of microwave radiation through it, but also their neck gets a lot of exposure because the phone is so large. So that would explain the th increase in thyroid cancer. And then um, the boys are putting their cell phone in their front pocket, and the, and the testes are very sensitive to being microwaved, as you can imagine. And again, these phones are pinging to the towers about every 30 seconds. It's also the reason we don't want women carrying the cell phones inside their bras because uh, doctors are reporting uh, very young women developing tumors in the exact location of the transmitter from their cell phone. Um, so this is a very serious issue. We are basically microwave radiating our children. The same issue um, comes up in terms of Wi-Fi in the schools. Schools are now one of the most dangerous places in the country given the number of wireless, two-way wireless transmitters that we have in each classroom. I know in Los Angeles they're putting 20... If people, and we need people who are already sick from neurological effects, cancerous effects, immune problems, system problems, to contact us and write testimonials that we can bring to state and federal public officials and show them that there is already an epidemic problem related to wireless radiation. Email weanow7 at gmail.com and help us, ha help us gather these type of testimonials. Also, if you're willing to meet with the public officials in your state, contact us and we will help facilitate your meeting them and taking action to protect your family. weanow7, the number 7, at gmail.com. We need your testimonials. We need your willingness to speak to public officials and stand up against this as a group. We're asking for your help. This is not going to change without you. We have a democratic system, a democratic representative system. It represents those who are involved. Our system is only as good as the people who participate in it. What I can tell you is the corporations are participating. They're hiring the lobbyists who are there in front of our officials, making their case, asking them to represent their interests, and the representatives are doing just that. They are providing funding. We need to provide campaign funding. They are insisting that they advocate for their rights. We need them to advocate for our rights. Um, they are getting in front of them and reminding them they need to do their duty as representatives. We need to do the same. So yeah, it, it's not a coincidence that I just happened to develop tinnitus tangling in the feet and the top of my head. Ridiculous foggy memory. I, I make music. I used to put out several albums a year. I put out one last year because I, I can't write a song anymore. I thought I was just losing, like I just, I guess I lost. No. I forget what I'm saying in the middle of all it's like, it, it's gotten so bad. It's like, I feel like a 90 year old man with Alzheimer's, you know? And then I find out that these are all the symptoms of this. Really? And I pretty much have like every sin, and I've even been getting the nose bleeds. I'm like, wow, my nose doesn't bleed. Past two months, I'm getting random nosebleeds. Another symptom. Teeth just hurting like hell. Yeah. Filling sparking, right? Yeah, well, that's what happens when microwaves blast through you, right? Yeah, yeah. Your, your metallic and mercury fill fillings, they might have an adverse reaction. And, you know, oh, they're not studying. We're not studying it. We, you know, oh, we're just rolling. You know. 
The fact is they know exactly what this does. This is not like new technology, you know what I'm saying? But like, this is the same technology they use in riot gear. Riot suppression. They understand how frequencies work and affect us. Okay, I could barely talk. My, how am I going to avoid cancer after, after a year of exposure to ridiculous levels of electromagnetic radiation? And magnetic... I mean... And who's accountable? No one. When you get your dumb smartphone and, and you click all the I agree, you're agreeing to liability. That, uh, you're not, you, you, you know, you can't hold the, them liable for, for your brain cancer when, you know, if and when you get it. People still think, uh, there's not an agenda to get rid of us. It's, the, it, they're not constantly sterilizing us with the food, right? With the corn and Monsanto. Every goddamn minute, everything's all, all about stripping foods of their nutrients. Alright, I, I gotta... <clears throat> I don't know what to say anymore, people. So I'm talking to the walls here, literally. Talking to the... Uh, microwave irradiated walls. You gotta uh, take it in your own hands and be aware of stuff and take care of it. Yeah, look, my, my hand is shaking. I thought, wow, anxiety and depression is getting, it's really getting bad. I guess I really do have it. Yeah, yeah. That's an onset of EMF. This is what it does to your nerves. And, and You know what I mean? If you're in a constant sh mood, you don't know why, you just always feel bad. Abdominal pain. Look at the list of symptoms. I like this. I got every goddamn one. Ironically, the, the only thing I haven't had that much is migraines, which is strange because that's something I used to always have, like, forever. Now I only pretty much get the migraines when my teeth are hurting. And I will say, since I put up all this shielding, I mean, there's still radiation coming through, to, you can see on the detector. But since I've done this... The t my tinnitus has, I'm not, it, it hasn't gone away, I don't know if it can just go away, so, you know, overnight, but it's diminished greatly, and I don't get the pings, where, where it just comes, it like, boom, like a bomb went off, ping, and it's like, you gotta, it's so bad, you gotta, like, grab your ear, that stopped since I put this up, so, maybe what, if these things are sending out pulses, that's causing the tinnitus, and I don't know. Also, mind you, I've been turning off the Wi-Fi, but all right. I'm, I'm telling you and showing you this so you can learn from me, guys, for better or worse. Learn from my mistakes, learn from... I mainly am doing this, I want you guys to, uh... Especially if you have pets, or small children, or both. Or do it for yourself. How about that? How about care about yourself? You probably have a smart meter. If you don't, consider yourself extremely lucky and get yourself a meter lock and put a sign up that you do not want it changed out. Unless you're an imbecile and you actually like, you enjoy being microwaved, then by all means, do nothing. And they will install one if they haven't already, but they probably have at this point. So yeah, you probably have one and you probably can't get rid of it. Because only half the states even have an opt-out option, okay? But remember, it's America, we're free, and uh, your health and, and freedoms can't be imposed upon... Yeah, right. Constitution. Well, this is your democracy, guys. Here you go. This is what you wanted. So, uh, you want to be at least aware of where the, the meter is. You want to make sure it's not behind your head. You don't even want to be in the room that it's in. Hopefully it's in your garage if you have a garage. And not behind your skull like mine. And if it is, hopefully you're not there for over a year, right? Because uh, you're going to have a miserable time having your, your cancer treatments. And um, 
and the electric company ain't gonna pay for it. Oh, and by the way, the gas company uses the smart meters too, and uh, the water company apparently. So yeah, have fun. It's a good life, good bright future we got, folks. America. This, this is what this is from us. Uh, relying on our provided professionals, quote unquote. You know what I mean? Never researching anything for ourselves, giving our trust to these entities who have done nothing but failed us, like over and over, but somehow the propaganda and conditioning is, is amazing and flawless. But most of you can't even wrap your skulls around that because you can't relate to the psychopathy and the mentality that would even... Why would anyone want to hurt people? Why would they do? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to you. Okay. And we'll just leave it at that because what's the point? You're not going to... Cognitive dissonance. You're not going to look into it any further because it's so unfathomable. None of this is real. Don't worry about it. Go back to sleep, kids. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Gil, cut that out. They want a reason to justify riot cops coming in. They want a reason to justify bringing the f tanks and big guns in. You, you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Thing. Citizens need to take back their government. They need to stand up against these bills that are violating your rights and taking away your rights. And people need to understand, I have been to the Capitol, representatives are listening. I have been to the state capitals, representatives are listening. People are listening because we they know, as well as we know, that something is direly wrong. That brain tumors that used to be very rare are not rare anymore, but it's no surprise when you're microwave radiating your head up most of the day. Uh, these neurological effects for young people, people know something is up. This is not normal. It absolutely isn't. We are microwave radiating and these microwaves are very neurotoxic as well as carcinogenic and genotoxic. Um, all these immune system disorders for young women, these are not normal. The fibromyalgias, the other ones, it's basically your immune system going berserk, not knowing what to do, attacking itself. We need to rule out wireless radiation exposure when it comes to these immune system disorders. Well, you may not be sensitive and fertility to developing is down symptoms like electrosensitive people. Your cells are being affected. They are responding to these electromagnetic waves. You may not know it until, unfortunately, over time, you develop cancer. So we should be listening to these electrosensitive people and understanding that they're like the canaries in the coal mine. They are warning us that we have a very serious problem, and we do. We are playing with the basic building blocks of our bodies, and we are playing with the basic ways our body communicates and functions, and we need to be very, very careful in C, be revised strongly to encourage non-thermal as well as thermal standards. People need to understand Russia even Russia has a thermal and non-thermal standard. That other countries have standards that are a hundred thousand times lower than ours. A hundred thousand times lower than ours. And if you look at bioinitiative.org and the conclusions they find, you'll see that they've concluded that biological health effects can happen even after a very short period, even three or four minutes of exposure to wireless technology for some people. They also show health effects um, billions of times at levels billions of times lower than our current safety standard. This should alarm people, but it's better to be informed and protect yourself by minimizing your exposure and hold your government officials responsible for not exposing you more than to continue ignorantly and unfortunately getting the bad news from your physician which a lot of people are ending up having to do. Our doctors are ignorant of health effects. Even though the California Medical Association passed a resolution in 2014 um, stating the problem pretty clearly, in general, doctors are ignorant of health effects and they're taking 
the industry studies that are being given to them by their representatives and they're not looking carefully themselves. And they're unaware that people are coming in with symptoms of electrosensitivity that can be eliminated or reduced just by reducing exposure. And they're falsely medicating them and falsely giving them surgeries they don't need. Um, so it's a, a, a tremendous weapon yet. And people really, it's time to take a stand. It's time to get off the sidelines. It's time to protect your family. Under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Dozens and dozens of people who are reporting some really huge billing spikes, in one case over 1,000%. The so-called smart grid that is as vulnerable as what we've got is not smart at all. It's a really, really stupid grid. You've got massive data storage areas that never existed before, specifically to accommodate the accumulation of this kind of knowledge. What in the world are they trying to do with all this data? Why do they need to get into our lives this deeply? What you're seeing is the establishment of a sur of surveillance society. And then they can use the system to go back in time and scrutinize every decision you've ever made. Where does it stop? At what point do we draw the line? Clever people called the technology smart to make it seem intimidating so no one would question it. On roots with their agenda, uh, up to date with where they want to be at this particular time, as we all seem to be turned into zombies. And uh, it's quite fascinating to me to, to read some of the big players' own books about it, like Brzezinski and so on. When they go through, uh, say, technotronic technology and warfare used on the general populations by their own governments, which would pacify them or make them angry or depressed or whatever it happens to be, just by altering the frequencies. Old technology again, but it's everywhere now with cell towers across the whole planet. So we're under smart, smart management, you see. Everything's smart management, smart schools, uh, smart management, smart buses to get them to school and back, and smart cars, etc. Which means that, that what used to be left to you, all the decision making in, in the cars and so on, are really up to the, the guys who put the programs in and are constantly monitoring it. Hi, yo. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, as an awake person, when you can't reach out to people, I mean, what, what are you supposed to do and how are we supposed to keep, keep our hopes up? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's so depressing when you think of it. Yeah, it is because the conditioning on most people, when you see them and they can't look you in the eye or they think you're crazy, is because the condition has taken perfectly on them. And you're looking, you're looking at conditioned robots, really, and they'll turn on you too. Uh, at the right time, they'll turn on you. Uh, but that's uh, the perfect conditioning. The ones who are awake generally have always been awake or so they've known something was wrong. And they, they can't be conditioned quite the same way. Uh, but you're in amongst most people where the conditioning has worked perfectly. And that's the problem. Uh, I've always said the, the elite have a symbiosis amongst the masses of people, the general mass of people. Because the masses always look towards government to solve problems, even if it's a fake problem put out by the government. They, 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 we immediately run to help us, save us, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, there's only very few people in between, in the middle, uh, who don't want to be stinking rich and, and rule everyone else's lives for them. And they don't want to belong to the general mob uh, that just goes and watches all the porn on their internet all day long, or ball games or whatever. Uh, so, so it's a small group, really, who don't belong in, in, in to either uh, camp, uh, this is a problem because, because, as I say, the masses have a symbiotic relationship with, with the elite, and eventually, when they get all their agendas through, uh, the elite will turn around and say, "We couldn't have done it without you." To the masses. Yeah, and and, and that's such a. I, I think it's disgusting. It, there's no other word for it. It's just mm -hmm. utterly 
disgusting. Yeah. It, it is, and it's very depressing until you realize uh, that uh, you, be, you might be surprised how many of those in between who are not brainwashed or conditioned and who don't seek personal power uh, can still have a voice and start changing things around. And that's the only hope that we have is, is to postpone it at least a, a long enough. They'll either wither away or they'll come out with an even heavier hand. And for and then, but that's when the, even the masses start to see it uh, and they know something's wrong when the heavy hand of the monster comes upon them, and uh, and that's what it might take. Stall them long enough until the see timetables. It's referring to those at the top cannot be stalled. If you can stall it, their timetables, they get awfully angry and they start using force. Uh, uh, and uh, force is, is at least the use of force uh, terrifies the public and maybe even to waking up a little bit. And that's all we can really hope for. It's because it's too perfect. It's been here too long, is this system. But we, but we, we, we cannot use violence and force no, they're, they're, they're so perfectly good at, at getting us to kill each other or fight each other. This has been a strategy for centuries, and uh, it's a perfect art of how to get it all going. Uh, we can't use that at all. And uh, uh, but this, by the same token, we have to make sure uh, that the elites don't c come out with a heavy hand and start using open force on the general public. H here's the thing, too. They have been using force, uh, or at least uh, 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 deadly intentions, on the general public because they know what, how they've been dumbing us down. They know I mean, when they rob your mind, this is the same as killing you. And when they inject things into you too that make the autism bloom, and it also makes everyone uh, quite a few points lower in the IQ scale, makes us all sick so that we'll die off early, infertile, etc. They are physically, uh, literally, this is a targeting, this is a murder, a murder, a, a murderous rampage has been going on for a long time under the usual covert actions of the United Nations that always deny what they're doing. One of the top players in, in this who wrote about it, who taught Rhodes Scholars back in the, the 40s and 30s, internationalist again, uh, who spoke, by the way, so he made a great speech in Sweden, it was um, Toynbee. There were two Toynbees, father and son, and one took over from the other. But they, they literally taught the Rhodes Scholars for internationalism just, and just they penetrate all that. governments and push them towards internationalism. He said, we always deny with our mouths what our, what our hands are doing. And that was become the mantra from, for every organization within the United Nations. We always deny with our mouths what our hands are doing. And, and that's, that's still their strategy to do. Respect the elderly mother.